Yo guys, we are back and today we are going to build a token hunter using Dex Screener. For you who don't know what Dex Screener is, it's a cryptocurrency platform where you can actually trade, but they have some cool features like boosting and trending. And I know a lot of you guys, you are going to look at the boosted tokens and then try to trade them. So I thought, why not build a bot that can real time check these boosted tokens and just return the information to us, like when they are boosted and for which amount they are boosted. So we can have a small edge compared to the people that are looking at the Dex Screener platform themselves. So for this bot, we will actually use the Dex Screener APIs. Because I know a lot of you guys, you go to Dex Screener itself and you look at the boosted tokens and you try to pick out which one are boosted. Yeah, just now actually. But they do have an API which we can use, which returns to us the latest boosted tokens and that API we will use. So in today's video, you can follow and see how we built a token hunter like this. The code will also be available in GitHub, but if you don't want to build the token sniper yourself, you can always join our Discord server, which we set up recently. And there we also talk about the snipers that we built, uh, the hunters that we built, algo trading in general. And people also come with opinions and suggestions. So there will also be a bot stream where we will stream this boosted tokens straight into Discord. So if you're not there yet, jump in. The link will be in the description and I hope to see you there. Alright, before we jump into the code, I will go over a quick overview on how this tool looks and what components we will use. So, our token hunter will be a function that will be triggered every 5 seconds. And every 5 seconds we will go through a collection of endpoints. Now the collection of endpoints today is only the boosted tokens from Dex Screener. But in the future, we will be able to add more uh, endpoints for all kinds of different things. So every five seconds, we will go to the Dex Screener Boost API and get the tokens that are boosted just recently. So once we receive these tokens, we will take out the token mint and we will check in our database if we have a boosted amount for this token. From these tokens information that we received, I will also check what the new what the current boosted amount is and if the current boosted amount is not the same as the boosted amount that we have in our database that means that there is a difference and probably the boosts have been increased so once the boosts have been increased we will of course store that in our database and we will also log out that token like hey this token has a increased amount of boosts so Besides that, we will also have some logic here that we can specify um, what the minimum boost value is that we want to look at. So if we don't want to see tokens that only have 10 boosts, then we can skip this. Let's say we only want to see tokens that have minimum 500 boosts because they are golden ticket boosts. So then we can also specify that to only receive these tokens. We also have a check for pump fund, so we can skip pump fund tokens. Um, and we also have some kind of rug check that we set up here to see if this token is actually like a good token or a bad token. So that's how the token sniper looks like now. But as I said, there is a collection of endpoints where we can add new endpoints in the future and we can apply the same logic. We can get the tokens back and check the tokens that we already have compared to the new token and see if there is some kind of difference. So it's really easy with this setup to plug in new endpoints, use the same logic, apply the same logic and uh, console out the new token that has been found with the changes that have been occurred. All right, before we go any further, I will show you what we will build today. And to start the hunter, you can just type npm run Start Hunter. And then you will see that the uh, tool will say that it started and that it's waiting for tokens. So the moment that uh, new boosted tokens come in, then we will see them here and uh, we can make a decision if we want to look at them or buy them. All right, so here it found a token that has been recently boosted and it will say like 10 boosts were added. And the total boost amount is now 40. And again, this is not a golden ticket because if it was 500, this would be bright yellow. We'll also return the token information. It has two socials. 
It was created 28 days ago and it has only one pair. And here is more information about the price, the market cap, the liquidity, if it's a pump fund token, and of course the result from the rug check. And here it says low amount of liquidity providers. And at the end, we can check out the token by looking at Dex Screener um, Nova to buy straight away using their uh, Nova bot in Telegram. And we can look at GMGN and we can have a look here. If we click on this, it will open the link for us. We can open Telegram and then we can look in Telegram here, start and we can straight away buy this token. So we can then just say like, hey, I want to buy this for one soul, 0.1 soul. I don't have any soul or not that much soul in this account right now, but you could come here and buy it straight away and then just look at your positions and see if you have any yeah, uh, PNL that is positive or negative. All right, so the code base for our token hunter starts in the hunter.ts file. And here we actually call a main function, which is this function here that we will start. So the first time that the function starts, we clear the console and we also log out that, hey, the function has started and we are waiting for tokens. So we always know that everything went well and that we are just waiting for new boosted tokens to come in. Next, we will get all the endpoints that are stored in the config file. And that are the config file endpoints that we at the moment have and that we will look at. And as I said, we will for now only look at boost latest. And we will also need the get token endpoint to get the latest information about the token. So these are the endpoints that we will use. That's what we are doing here. We collecting these endpoints. And if nothing is returned, then we stop. But if we have some endpoints available, we will move on. So the next thing we will do is loop through these endpoints. But as you can see here, um, once the whole function has been done, it will start main once again. So that's what I said with it will do this every five seconds or you can also change that to 10 seconds. And also this is in config. If you go to um, Hunter timeout or let's see what it was. Yes, Hunter timeout. You can increase this to 10 seconds or one second. You have, of course, have to think about the rate limits of the APIs. But here is what we say on uh, how fast we will trigger this main function again once it's done handling all the endpoints. So. If we got all the endpoints, we can move on and we can loop through all the endpoints that we have received. So we will extract the information like name, URL, platform, and we'll also check which chains we want to track. And this is also in the config. So what we will get is the Solana chain here that we want to track and we get the platform, the name and the URL for every endpoint. So once we have this information, we move on. And as I said, for now, we are only looking at Dex Screener. So if the platform is Dex Screener and the endpoint name is Boost Latest, which is again here, Boost Latest Dex Screener, then we will do something for now. So once we are in the Boost Latest endpoint, we will have to see what we can do. So with this endpoint URL, which is in this case, this one latest, which is also documented on their API page. If you go to the API page and you look at um, get the tokens with the most active boosts, you can find all the information here. And also you can see what it will return to us um, about that token. So all this is documented on their references page. So that's what we will use this URL. So with this URL, we will get all the information and we have a separate function for that. It's called get endpoint data. And that's actually here on top. And this function is just a API call using Axios, which will get the token data from us. And then it will return it in a data format that we then store in the data variable here. So that's what we do here. We just get the data from the endpoint URL and we store it in data. So this will hold all the tokens that are boosted recently. So if there are no tokens returned, 
or we don't have any data, that means that we didn't receive anything and we will also log that out. But if we received data, we can move on. So we will store the data that we received in a variable tokens data and we also give it a type. And if you click on this, you can see how that will look. But this is actually the same information that you received here. So these, they will be similar. Because remember, we are using TypeScript and the types that we specify here should almost match the data that we get back. So that's the data that we get back here. And then we will go through all these tokens because remember, this tokens data will contain a lot of tokens that are boosted. And what we will do here is for each token in this token data, we will check it. All right. So first we do some checks. Is this token Solana? Because remember, we are actually only checking for Solana chain tokens. If it's not Solana, then we do nothing and we hop over. We also have a pump check and you can ignore pump fun. Also in config, if you go to settings, ignore pump fun tokens. Now it's false. But if this would be true, then in this case, we will also jump over if it's a pump fun token. Next. With the token address, from that token, we will check the boost amount that we have in our database. So for that, we have a separate function and it's stored in db.ts. And this function just goes into our database and it will select the total amount of boosts that we currently have for this token. So we need that to compare the current amount of boosts that we have with the new amount of boosts. And that's what we will do here. So we receive the boost amount that we have in our database. And then if that is not the same as the boost amount that was returned to us from the data, then we will move on. If the boost amount is the same, that means no change happened. Because remember, we get this information back every five seconds, but that doesn't mean that a change occurred. So the moment a change occurred and the boost amount is different, or it's a new boosted token, then we will move on. So, if it's a boost amount change or a new token, then we want to get the latest information about that token. And remember, we also have the get token endpoint specified here in our config. And this endpoint will just return the information for a specific token that we provide. And also that has been documented. So you can go here and check. Um, get one or multiple pairs by token address. And it says here what you need to request and also what you get back. And here we get the information back about the volume, liquidity, market cap, the socials, all this kind of stuff. So what we do here is just saying, I want the endpoint for um, X screener in this case, which is called get token. So if we have that, then we will move on. If we don't have a get token endpoint, then we will hop over. So next what we do is we will take this URL and we will append the token address because that's what we need to do. If you look at the documentation, um, it says here, you need to have the URL and then the token that there's behind it. And if you send it, you will get back this information. So that's what we do here. And we use the same function to get the data, which is here on top. So what we do here is just getting the token information using this endpoint URL, which is get token. And that will return us all the information that we need about that token, like name, socials, and also the specifics. Next, what we do is we extract this information. Um, we also check if it's a DEX that we want to track. And the DEXs that we want to track at the moment is Radium. So if it's not a Radium token, then we hop over it. For now, we only track Radium. And we get the token name, the token symbols. Um, and then if we have all this information, then we store it into an object, which we call update detailed token type. And it will hold the URL, the chain ID, the token address, the icon, the header. And the header is the header from a deck screener. 
some open graph information, the description, the links, the amount of boost, the total amount of boost, the pairs that are available, um, the DEXs, the current price, of course, the liquidity market cap, when the pair was created, the name and the symbol. So all this information we collect and then we store it in our database. And also that we use a function for, which is stored in our DB file again, where we will take all this information that we provide and then we will store it in our database. So that's what we do here. So we get all that information, we remove the information that we have, and we store the token again in our database. So we know that we have the latest information for this token. So the next time that we loop through, we can check the boosts and see if they have been changed. So if everything went well, then we move on. And we have a few checks that we want to do here. Did we receive a confirmation that the token has been stored? Yes. Is it not the first time that we run this function? And do we have a total amount that is at least bigger than that we specified? Because remember I said we can also track tokens that have a boost amount that is, for example, bigger than 500. So that's what we check here. For now it says 10. So everything that has a boost amount bigger than 10, we will log out. And if you save, if you change this to 500, then it will only log out the token with the boost amount over 500. So next we check if it's a golden ticker. And again, we do that by checking if the boost amount is greater than 500. If so, we give it a special color and a nice icon. We check if it has socials. We check if it's a pump fund token. And we also do a rug check. And you can choose to disable this also in the config. If you go to rug check, you can disable it. But if it's enabled, then it will perform a rug check. And for that, it also has a separate function. It's stored in transactions.ts. And here we use again rug check.xyz. And if you looked at the videos about the token sniper, then you will know what this service does. But in short, this service takes a token mint and it will return us a report with all kind of uh, information about the token, if it's a dangerous token or not. But that's what we will do here. So if we get these risks back, then we will also log them out. And if there is no risks, then we will return no risks found. But that's what we do here. We also check how long the token was been created. Um, and we use a function for that or a package called Luxon to make sure that the time or the since ago um, is outputted in a format that we can read and not just provides us a big number like a Unix timestamp. That's why we use this package, Luxon. And if you want to know more about it, you can actually um, search for Luxon in Google. You type NPMI Luxon and it will give you more information. So that's what we do here. We just make it more human readable. And then if we are done with all of this, we console out the token information, the boost information, the specifics, and also some links where we can look at Dex Screener or we can buy it via Nova or GMGN. So that's how the token hunter works for now.